Hi guys, in this video you will learn how to build a virtual assistant using LLMs and real-time machine learning processing using an open source library called Pathway. Let's dive in. So what's the problem? Building an LLM demo inside a Jupyter Notebook using Langchain is really easy. The thing is that when you try to build a fully functional product, you quickly realize you need to spend a lot of time either setting up infrastructure or building boilerplate data engineering code, which means you spend little time focusing on the business logic, which is the differentiator of your product. Luckily, there is an open source library called Pathway that manages all the real-time processing for you, so you can focus on the business logic. So let's see step-by-step step how to implement a virtual assistant using Pathway. Let's get our hands dirty. So I'm gonna head to this repository that I created, virtual assistant LLN, and then I'm gonna get the URL of the code, I copy, and I'll go, I go to the terminal. So I'm gonna first cd into the right folder. I'm gonna run it inside live session and then git clone. That's it, I've got the code. I'm just gonna now cd into it. And then I'm gonna start Visual Studio Code. Now I created a readme file with the precise instructions you need to run to get this thing up and running on your end. So if you go to run the whole thing in five minutes, you're going to see we run a bunch of make commands. These are all defined in this make file uh, file, which is right here. So the first one is make init. This installs the Python poetry and the dependencies inside the virtual environment. So I'm going to go back to the terminal. I'm going to run it, make init. Super, that's it. I'm going to head back. Next step, I need to copy credentials inside this .m file. So first, I need to run this command to copy this example file into this .m right here. And then I need to paste my OpenAI API key and also a Discord webhook. I'm using Discord as the front end to send alerts. So uh, let me show you how to get these two values. First, OpenAI, very easy. You go to openai.com, you log in. And you go to API. And then here on your profile, on the top right corner, you're going to see View API Keys. And here I'm going to create a new one. So you see, so you create a new key. You can call it LLM Demo Example. And then you create. This is a secret value you shouldn't share with anyone. So I'm obviously showing you mine here, but I'm going to delete it as soon as this video is over. I copy this value. And then I go in my .m file. I paste it. Super. And then I'm going to get my Discord webhook URL. So for that, I'm going to go to my private Discord channel that I have for the real world machine learning community. Right here. Then I'm going to go to server settings. And if you go to integrations, you're going to see webhooks. So here, there are several webhooks. This one is the one that I created for this demo. It's called Virtual Assistant. It's very easy. You just create it. And then you copy this webhook URL. So I copy it. I go back to my M file, I replace here, and I paste the value. So these are the two parameters that I need to set in this .m file. So let me go back to my readme. The next step is just to run the virtual assistant, make run. Basically launches this app.py script. This is where we define our pathway app. This is basically the core of it. So if I go to app, I'm gonna actually show it full screen. This is the core function, run function. With Pathway, you don't need to define low-level details of how the things work, but you define the building blocks. So you define things like the input connector. So from where are you reading files? In this case, it's from this local folder. It's very easy to integrate with more realistic data sources like a Kafka stream. It's just one line of code that you need to change, this one right here. Then you also need to indicate how you plan to index and store uh, the numerical representations of these documents. So the original documents are raw text. In order to use them for an LLM app, you need to do two things. First, you need to chunk them, and then you need to embed them, right? So with the KN index, you indicate how you want to store, how you want to index these documents, so you can later retrieve them. Then you're also going to set up a REST API, which is going to listen to input requests. So I'm going to send a request like, do I have a meeting tomorrow? And then the system will need to process it. So this is the REST API endpoint. And then you obviously need to define letters like what model do you want to use to embed documents? We're going to use OpenAI model. And also what model do you want to use to synthesize a response? Usually you use different models to compute embeddings. 
and to generate text. So here is all the code that is basically doing the business logic, right? It's getting the query, it's enriching it, and then up, if you scroll up, you're going to see basically the prompt engineering that defines the business logic right here. So we need the prompt, which is going to check if we, what do we want to do as a user, so what's the intent of the user, and then a second prompt, which is going to be able to compare the current response from the system, is it different from a previous response? And if so, send an alert. So this is basically the business logic that we define using prompts. But we let Pathway handle all the moving of the data and all the data synchronization that needs to sit behind to make this thing really work with a live data source. So this is the whole app. If you scroll down, you can dig deeper into details. And then finally, there is the alerting. So there is a function that is saying, Whenever a response changes from a previous one, send an alarm and we, and we use a Discord. So that's the whole thing. You can dig deeper. The link is on the comments. But now let's run it so you see how it works. So I'm going to go to my terminal and I'm going to run, run, make run. And here you can see the pathway monitoring dashboard. So I have my pathway app up and running. Now I'm going to open a window next to it. Another tab. Then I'm going to sit into Live Sessions Virtual Assistant. And then I'm going to head back to the README. Actually interact with this app that is up and running. So what we're going to do is, first we're going to send a request with make request. So I'm going to go here, make request. And this is just sending a post request with this query. Do I have any meeting tomorrow? Notify me about changes, please. And here on the left side panel, you see that there is processing. So there is the magic of pathway. There is a real-time processing happening as soon as you update the input source. And you didn't have to implement any of that. You just define from where you want to get the raw documents and let pathway do the processing. So the document has been processed and I actually got a response, which is saying, I'm sorry, but as an AI assistant, I don't have access to your personal information. Well, that makes a lot of sense because if you go to the folder where the data is, is in data events, it's empty. So basically, the query that we just sent was basically sent directly to OpenAI. And basically, if you don't provide any context, well, the system cannot provide any valid answer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to push a, a Google Calendar event to this data source. So we're going to be able to give context to the model. And this is what we do with this make push first event. So I'm going to send this first event here. If you go back to the document, it's here, first event. And it's basically a dime event where I'm saying there's tomorrow a meeting with Paul Simon at 3 p.m., right? And now I'm going to ask again the system. Whoops, what happened? Well, before I even ask the system, let me go to my Discord. Oopa, I actually got an alarm. Super. So basically what happened is the first time I queried, I got an alert from the system. But now I got a new alert. And this is really interesting because it's saying me, well, you didn't need to ask me again, but I understood there was an update on the input data source. And based on the new information, it appears that I have a meeting with Paul Simon tomorrow at 3 p.m. And this is magic, right? So we set a webhook, a reactive application, and we didn't need to care again about synchronizing data. So um, let me update with the second event and see what happens. So I'm going to go back to the readme. And there's a new event, which I call make push second event. I'm going to run it. And super, so now as you can see, when I send the second event, I can even get a response if I send again the request, my request. But more interestingly, if I go to the alarms, I got a new alarm said, yes, I have a meeting that was originally scheduled at three, but has been moved at four. And again, I didn't need to implement any of the data processing. That's something that Pathway did for me. So this is the magic of Pathway. It really helps you establish a backbone of services and real-time data processing, on top of which you can write your business logic using uh, simple Python functions. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new today. And yeah, looking forward to seeing you soon. The only way to learn how to build LLM powers up is to build one yourself. So I suggest you go to the GitHub repository I'm linking on the comments down below, where you will find plenty of real world apps built using Pathway and using LLMs. So you git clone it, you give it a star on GitHub to support the open source, and you get your hands dirty. See you soon, guys.